What's up guys, how's it going? So as you may remember, I did 30 days of daily vlogs a few weeks, like a week or two ago, and a lot of you said you really liked it and you wanna see me do another thing of like daily uploads. So I've set a new goal on my Patreon page and that goal is if I reach 125 patrons, I will do 35 days of daily vlogs. First time was 30 days. I think 35 days is like upping it. I wanna up it, like up improve yes so if you want to see me do another 35 days of daily vlogs you can support me on my patreon page for as little as one dollar and i also do upload exclusive content on there so be sure to check it out in the description and the what's really the patreon page has been going really good for me but the main thing is like it's it's really been keeping me motivated because youtube with all their new algorithms and stuff they've really been like making it so like maybe your channel maybe doesn't grow, like you don't get many subscribers or as many views as you used to get. And I actually have messaged with a few other creators who have just completely quit YouTubing because their channel is like not growing or it's going backwards. Cause you know, one of the things you count on as a YouTuber creator is to see your numbers going up. So like seeing that you get more views and you're getting more subscribers. And I could totally see if you see those numbers going backwards, could totally be devastating. I could, I could totally see that happening. But seeing, having, having a Patreon page and seeing people support me on there has really been keeping me motivated and wanting to keep making videos. As you may know, I live in Costa Rica and there is no way that I know of to ship stuff down from the States down to Costa Rica. So like once or twice, sometimes if I'm lucky, three times a year, someone is maybe coming down from the States or if I visit the States, I'm able to bring back stuff like items, maybe fan mail and Recently, I had a friend who was coming down and I was able to convince them to bring down a suitcase full of a few different stuff that have been sent to me from companies as well as fan mail. So over the next probably few weeks, I'll be slowly doing reviews and unboxings and stuff like that. And as you may have noticed, I got a new t-shirt as well as a new hat with my Doom Awesome Stuff logo and then my Doom Awesome Stuff kind of slogan. You know how I always say that in my videos and it's kind of what I always promote, Doom Awesome Stuff. Super happy and excited to get a hat as well as a t-shirt with my Doom Awesome stuff. I've been wanting to get this for so long, but I have had no way to get it down here. Finally got it, awesome. Today I'm gonna be doing kind of like an unboxing of some fan mail that was sent to me from George Strouch. So George, Str George, thank you a ton for sending me this. I really appreciate it. Most of the stuff I didn't even know existed. So thank you, thank you a ton for that. And yeah, let's open it up and see what did we find. First thing is, oh, wait, wait, gotta read the letter. Dear Atua, here are a few things to add to your bug out bag and making your adventures more fun. I hope you can use them. Keep up with your adventures and inspiring more people to get outside and have fun. Take care, be safe on your adventures. Yes, you have inspired me to get out more and enjoy life. Well, George, thank you very much for the letter. Appreciate it a ton. And I'm glad I've been able to inspire you to spend more time outside. Thank you. Let's see, what is the first thing? This is a Gerber machete thing. This is one of those packages that's really difficult to open. We'll be back in a moment once I figure this out. Thank you very much, George. Very handy to have a machete as well as a, a, a sheath. That way I can throw this in my backpack and take this on adventures. You'll definitely be seeing this more in the future. The next item is a mini pick shovel looking thing. Ooh. Check it out, it's, it's a super compact shovel that you put together. I'm gonna put this together. Bada bing, bada boom. It's a super compact shovel. That, that is so cool. I didn't even know they had like such a compact shovel that would fold up and you put it together. This could come very in handy if I wanna make some more Dakota fire holes. It also has like a pick thing. Awesome, that is so cool. We've got a vapor or vapor water bottle. Nice, nice and compact. Uh, it comes with a carabiner, that way I can probably hook this to my bag if I 
if you like doing so. We've got some sunglasses. Huh? Those are pretty cool. Thank you. Nice. We've got an emergency blanket. Very handy for if you're caught out, maybe out in the wilderness, but you need to reflect some of your body heat to yourself. A Frontier Flow water bottle filter. It's a water bottle with a built-in filter? I think that's my understanding. Next time I'm out adventuring, maybe if I come across a river, I'll get a chance to test this out. Ooh, bundle of paracord. 550 cord. You can never have too much paracord. That's one thing I've learned. A paracord keychain. Whoa. Has like a little tool with like a bottle opener, a little carabiner, built-in screwdriver, as well as a little bundle of paracord. That's kind of nice. I could strap this to my backpack and then if I ever need that little bit of extra cordage, it's right there. Or I could put my keys when I get keys. A little bit of a larger paracord bracelet. Let's open this up. Check it out. It has a built-in compass, a whistle, a fire steel to strike on here. To strike with this little thing. And then it's big, a good amount of paracord. Pretty cool. This is a... Uh, it's a camper's knife. It looks like it has like a spoon and a fork and... This is what it looks like all folded up, but you can fold all the utensils or stuff out and then you get a fork, a knife, um, a spoon, a bottle opener, and yeah, that is it. Oh, that's so cool. It's like the size of a little Swiss Army knife, but it's for having your utensils. Uh, we've got a bike tool. It's like a kit. Check this out. It's like a kit with a bunch of different size Allen keys, Allen wrenches, as well as some little other screwdrivers and stuff. And then a bunch of tire levers. These are what you can use to help you change your tire when you get a flat tire. Use them to in between the rim and the tire. Can be very helpful. I have managed a few times to change my tires without these, but maybe if your hands are really cold or you're really exhausted, could come in handy. And this, just, this feels like a really nice tool. That is so cool. It's like a it's like a mini towel, but from my understanding, it's like like some type of material that like for this it, even though it's so tiny and compact, it dries it can dry like your entire body pretty well. What is this? Aha! It's a sport utility blanket. So it looks like it looks similar to the emergency blanket, but this looks like a more heavy duty, bigger size. It's sealed shut, so I'm not gonna open it, but in an emergency, I feel like this is like a tarp type material. This is a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, yes. That's what it says, I think. The ultralight, ultra warm, full protection shelter. So it's a tiny, 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 like tiny, like th this is tiny, like that's tiny, is meant to be like a, it's, it's a bivy bag. So from what I remember, I think you can put this like on the outside of a real or a main sleeping bag and it kind of can help keep it dry. I hope this isn't one of those things that's impossible to get back in its bag. This is the last thing. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Whoa! Whoa! I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this back in that bag. What? No way! That is... That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Did you see that? It came out of this tiny bag, and look at this. this is, that, is, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, I'm gonna try to, I think I'll spend the rest of today trying to get this back into this. It, it may be honestly impossible, 
but I will try. I will try very hard. All right, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Thank you, George, a ton for all the very nice gifts. I will definitely get loads of use out of this stuff, especially like the shovel, the machete, probably this cool thing I'm a jig thing. And yeah, today's positive quote is, it was actually sent to me in the comments of one of my videos from Carrie Eckert. Don't cling to a mistake just because you spent so much time making it. Carrie, thank you a ton for the positive quote. Appreciate it a ton. What this quote means to me is that if you're doing something and you realize that like this is really not working, like it, th like trying it this way is just a complete failure, even though you may have spent maybe hours or days or weeks or months or years working on it, sometimes. It can be really hard, but sometimes you have to just move on and let go and not like feel attached to this. So like maybe even though you're working on it for so long and you put so much time into it, if it's like not working at all, like you have to just let it go, move on, see what you can learn from that, from that experience and then maybe restart, start doing a new thing. Thanks again for the quote. And if you have a positive quote, let me know down below in the comments. And again, if you want to check out my Patreon page in the description, can support me just one dollar and get us closer to doing 35 days of daily the 35 days of daily vlogs remember to keep always doing awesome stuff i'll see you guys tomorrow early in the morning